gorgeous. Welcome back. Today we're going to be filming a makeup tutorial, a little toot toot for you. Um, and I'm going to be using the Dominique Cosmetics Latte Palette. You guys know that I mentioned this baby in my Sephora and Ulta haul a few weeks back, but I have been dying to use this palette and I'm just so excited to share with you guys my thoughts and my feedback on whether I recommend purchasing this palette or not. Whether it's a yay or a nay for me, you guys will find out. And also you guys will find out how I achieved this look with using the palette. Girl, why are we talking? Let's jump right in. All right, we're going to start off by doing the brows, of course. The brows need to be done. And I am going to be using my ABH um, dip brow. I haven't gone out and gotten a new NYX brow pencil, so <laughs> I don't have my brow pencil today. But I do have this baby right here, and this is all I'm going to use for my brows today. All right, so we have the eyes primed with some concealer. I'm going to go in with primer right now, just because I know we're going to do our eyes first before our foundation, and because I have these blemishes on my right side of my face, I really want the primer to like seep into my pores, girl. I don't know why I'm breaking out. Like I really don't. I know I am kind of stressing a little bit just because like last week was finals and I had to switch universities since my school closed down. Oh, I'm so sad. And for any of those who don't know, I go to Western, or I used to go to Western International University, WIU. It's an online school only, and um, I absolutely loved that school. And I'm so sad that it closed down. I did have an option to finish my degree before I transferred to a different university, but I didn't want to do that just because that meant me taking like three to four classes at a time. And I was like, absolutely not. I know that my schedule cannot handle all those classes right now. So I opted to just switch universities. And I am actually now going to Phoenix University, University of Phoenix, whatever. Um, and yeah, I'm pretty excited. I am still gonna continue to do online classes only. Um, I'm double priming, girl. Double priming is necessary with my breakout. Now we're gonna jump into our Dominique Cosmetics Latte Palette. So sleek, so beautiful. These colors are just absolutely stunning and they look so pigmented. I love the fact that this is clearly the Latte Palette because for any of those who do keep up with Dominique um, on her YouTube channel, she is a coffee fiend. And I just think it's so cute that she named all these eyeshadows based off coffee. Like hazelnut, caramel, vanilla cream, mocha, pumpkin spice, double shot. Oh girl, that's me. Cold brew, creme brulee, macchiato, and ex... And ex I always want to say espresso and it's espresso <laughs> and espresso. So I just think that's super cute. All right, I'm going to pick up the shade Caramel, which is such a gorgeous transition shade. And I'm going to push this all into the crease. I don't know what look I'm going to do quite yet, but I do know that I want to focus on the color in this palette and not necessarily like the shimmer shades. Just because I'm kind of over like packing a shimmer shade on my lid and calling it a day. Let me just say that these eyeshadows are super pigmented. A little bit of it does go a long way. I'm going to pick up the shade Pumpkin Spice. I love these orangey fall shades. Oh my gosh. I cannot wait for it to be cold again. It is so damn hot in Arizona. Today it was 115 degrees. A hundred and fifty degrees oh my gosh and it's like monsoon season so it's like humid and, and when it's windy it's not even windy like oh yes put the breeze on me it's like hot hot wind you're just like go away stop it <laughs> now I'm picking up the shade hazelnut I'm gonna go with my family and we're gonna go to the cabin so excited to get away from this heat and I like want to make sure I'm going running every single morning because I've lost seven pounds on this little 17 day diet. Henry has lost 11 pounds. For like my body shape, it's hard for me to lose weight as fast as Henry, you know what I mean? And one pound looks like three pounds on me, I swear to God. Because I am five foot nothing, nada, <laughs> it's 
like one pound shows so much on my body. So I'm just so super proud of my honey and I for sticking to this diet, even though we did kind of break the diet rules a bit during our birthdays and anniversaries. Now I'm just gonna blend hazelnut into the crease and I'm actually gonna dip into caramel again so that way there's like no harsh lines. I'm gonna grab vanilla cream and I'm gonna just kind of blend out my eyebrow bone we're gonna pick up double shot. We're gonna dip into this beautiful purple. All right, so we're gonna put this in the middle of our eyelid. None of the colors have any fallout, but double shot definitely does. Yeah, I'm definitely living for this purple. Oh, it's so beautiful. All right, so now we're just gonna clean up underneath our eye and kind of pick up any fallout that came down. Shwella. I am going to do a thick black wing for this look. I'm using the Maybelline Line Stiletto um, Liquid Eyeliner in the shade Black. Today I'm going to be using this bomb new brand that I've never used before until they reached out to me. They are Icon Lashes, I-I-K-O-N-N, -N, and I absolutely love their lashes. They sent me a few lashes in the mail. I am now on their PR list, which is amazing, and I'm so happy and excited to be working with Icon. I love using mink lashes, especially because they last so so much longer than synthetic lashes do. They also look so much more real, thick, and their band is 100% better than synthetic lashes. And they do tend to just run a little bit more pricey, of course, being mink and not synthetic. You're gonna pay a higher price than synthetic lashes. That's just a no-brainer. However, Icon was sweet enough to offer me a coupon code, and that is Selena30, so feel free to use that if you do check out the Icon lashes on their website. I'm telling you guys, these lashes are bomb. And I posted a few selfies and a few snaps wearing them, and everybody was asking me what lashes they love, and that is the pair that I'm going to be rocking today with today's makeup look. Drunken Love is super wispy, thick dramatic. The lash band is so bomb with these lashes that you don't even need to apply any eyeliner if you're going to do like a look where you're worried about your lash glue showing. The band is so thick that it's not going to show through. I love lashes like that. I'll leave all their information down below, their Instagram, the website link along with my coupon code. Um, and yeah, feel free to check them out. They're super bomb. I'm telling you. They're like gorgeous. All right, lashes are on, baby, and they are looking fly, girl. I feel like I can fly to the sky with these lashes. Okay, time for the face. Okay, so I want to admit something to you guys. Lately, I have been addicted to watching mukbangs on YouTube. I'm pretty sure I'm saying that right, mukbang. I'm always saying it. Honey, you want to watch this mukbang with me? <laughs> I have been watching those like crazy on YouTube. I don't know if it's because I'm on this diet that like watching somebody shove their face with a bunch of food is somehow satisfying to me. And I'm just like, okay girl, you get that bite. I didn't know this was such a thing. So then I started looking them up on YouTube and I was like, oh, say no more. I'm gonna film a damn mukbang with my best friends. So I'm gonna do one first with my girl Shondi. She doesn't know yet. <laughs> but I'm going to tell her tomorrow because I am going to Shondi's house tomorrow. We're going to watch the Bachelorette finale. I'm so excited. Who do you guys want to win? Tell me. Who do you want Becca to pick for her fiance? Are you Team Blake or Team Garrett? Like, I really need to know in the comment section down below. For any of those who do watch The Bachelor and Bachelorette, like, tell me. Who are you rooting for? This is my problem area. You see this little tiny space? <laughs> and I'm like always so rough with my foundation that I, that I always like bah! I hit my eyebrow but I'm being like super careful right now and I'm getting a lot of it in my hairline which is totally fine because I will fix it afterwards but oh my god this little area like I love having a little forehead but like these type of moments really drive me nuts I'm gonna go to Shandy's tomorrow, right? And I'm gonna watch the Bachelorette finale. And then I'll let Shandy know while I'm there 
that we're gonna film a mukbang together. Cause she don't know this yet, but she's gonna film one with me. For any of those who don't know, Shandi is literally my sister from another mister. Like, we've been best friends since freshman year in high school. I just and love her so much. I'm like her little Latina spice that she needs in her life, and she's my like crazy white girl that I need in my life. And we're also super opposite than one another, so. She like completes me in every way. I just love her so much. For some reason, like lately when I've been concealing, I've been getting really close to my lower lash line. I think I'm due for a new Tarte Shade Tape. Okay, so then I'm gonna grab my concealer and put it like right underneath my cheekbone. Kind of giving that natural contour, you know? Voila. You know, I just so happen to have a pimple right there, but that's okay. Okay, and now I'm gonna place this concealer in the middle of my nose. And just because I feel like being extra tonight, I'm also going to use some cream contour on the face. It's been a while since I did cream contour on my channel, right? Don't worry, girl, I got you. Now I'm gonna go in with my Sonia Kashuk Cream Contour. It's in the shade Warm Tan. And, um,. I'm using my Morphe E14 brush for this. This is basically a dupe for the Chanel cream contour that's like $60, $70. It's so damn expensive, but this is like, I think, $8. Totally worth every single penny. So I'm just putting this right here on my cheekbones. I'm going to put it right there on the bridge of my nose. I'm going to put it on my jawline. That's it. Bam. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. I love actually cream contouring. I'm surprised I don't do it more often. And you know, I think when I get super duper oily, I'm like, oh girl, the less cream, the better on my face, the more powder, the better on my face, you know? So it's only when I'm kind of dry is when I'll tend to use cream contour. And lately I have been dry on my lips and on like my cheeks not my t-zone by the way oh my gosh the love the amount of freaking love i received in my engagement video i cried like three different times reading all your guys' comments you guys are seriously the sweetest souls out there i'm the luckiest person to have all of you amazing love bugs supporting my channel and i just wanted to say thank you so much to everybody who left a comment who liked it who watched it who thumbs it up like i I appreciate you. You, 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 I appreciate you. I'm grabbing my oldie yet goodie, which is my Dermablend Loose Translucent Setting Powder. my Bye Bye Pores bronzer in the shade Beach. And now that I've been using this bronzer, I kind of wish it was a little darker. Or just my opinion. I really do. You know what I think I'm going to go out and get? I think I'm going to get me a new Kat Von D contour palette. That was my holy grail contour palette until I just started like buying a bunch of new bronzers. this baby lately for contouring and it's the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Powder. This is actually a compact powder that you're supposed to use on top of foundation but I have been using this dark shade right here as a contour and bronzer. I've been loving it. It is amazing on my cheekbones and it blends so nicely. Like look at that. You see how that adds just like a tiny bit darker of a shadow? on your cheekbones compared, compared to like this side. This side just has the It Cosmetics Bye Bye bronzer and this side has both of them. I can see a difference. This is the Styled by Harouche palette with Tarte. Um, Harouche and Tarte collaborated together. I'm just crazy about this blush in the palette. It is in the shade Cheeky. It's like a beautiful peachy pink blush and honestly like I really do think that this is one of my 
most subtle and beautiful blushes in my collection. It just adds the perfect amount of peach with like a pinky tone to it. I just love this blush. Also, side note, I have been obsessed with blush lately. I like went through a really long phase of not wearing blush. And then I started wearing it again and I'm just crazy about blush. It really does just wake up your cheekbones. Time to smoke out the lower lash line, finally. Um, we're dipping right back into the Dominique Cosmetics palette. I'm going to start off by applying Pumpkin Spice. Now I'm going to go in with Hazelnut. grab the shade cold brew because this blue I feel like underneath the purple is just gonna pop I want to put a pretty blue in my waterline I just don't know what blue to do Okay, I'm gonna do the dark. I purchased this a long time ago, maybe like a year ago, when I visited the Morphe store in, um, in California, before they had one in Arizona. And um, it's their ultra fine eyeliner in the shade Royal Blue. So we're just gonna jump right in and put this in our waterline. Oh my gosh, so beautiful. Yeah, that made the eye pop so much more. Oh, I'm so happy that I pulled this baby out. Yeah, that like really brings the look together. So we're gonna line our lips today with our Rimmel Lip Liner in the shade Natural. We're gonna grab our Wet n Wild Liquid Lipstick in the shade Nudie Patootie. So for highlighter today, we're gonna be dipping into this Rose Highlight Collection from Bad Habit. It is a dupe to the Anastasia Beverly Hills and Nicole Guerrero highlighter kit. Um, they did a collaboration a while ago, and Bad Habit came out with like an affordable dupe to that highlighter kit, and um, I've been loving it lately. These highlights work amazing. I have used it several times the last few weeks, and I'm super impressed with them. So that's what we're going to be using today. For Drench the shit out of your face and then go back in with your highlighter so that way it pops. I'm so living for this eye. It looks so beautiful. I love the colors. All right, so let's talk about this palette. I have to say that I am so incredibly impressed with the blendability of the eyeshadows. They blended together so well. The pans are clearly very large and in charge, and I love that because the price you pay for this palette it is definitely a high-end palette, but worth every penny in my book. All of the matte shades blended out beautifully. I didn't use any of the shimmer shades. You know what? Let's throw in one of these shimmer shades in our inner tear duct. For the sake of this video, I'm going to pick up the shade Macchiato. I'm going to pick that up with no setting spray, no Max Fix Plus, um, to really see how pigmented it comes out on the eye before using setting spray. Oh my sweet baby Jesus, girl. That is with no setting spray. Wow, that is super pigmented. Can you imagine if I sprayed my brush, like how poppin' that would be? We're gonna do it. Oh my god, that's so metallic. That's insane. So, highly recommend the palette. 
there's nothing else for me to say other than it is an amazing palette. And I am so happy for Dominique because she has said that she worked her ass off on her co cosmetic line and that literally the proof is in the pudding. I'm also going to get my hands on the Lemonade palette, which is her second eyeshadow palette that she came out with. If this is amazing, I can't wait to try the next palette. I hope that you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial. I had so much fun filming this for you guys. I love you with all my heart. Don't forget to subscribe to your girl's channel if you're not subscribed already. Or if you're new to my channel, hi, welcome. Be a part of the family by subscribing and hitting the notification bell so you get notified every time I upload. As I'm starting to upload two to three times a week now. So exciting. So make sure you stay up to date with my videos by clicking the notification bell. I love you guys with all my heart, and I'll see you on my next video. Mwah! Love you, bye.